So it's April the 1st and I have a confession. I was this close to trolling every single one of you. I thought it would be really funny to do another YouTube monetization update video on the channel, since we're doing tons of these at the moment, and tell everyone that YouTube were finally reducing the monetization requirements. All you would need is 100 subscribers and a not very high 420 watch time hours. I'm so funny. I even went to the trouble of manipulating a YouTube blog page and I was gonna send everybody to this link. But I didn't. And instead, I'm doing this. So why didn't I pull the trigger? Well, I was a little concerned that too many people would actually believe me, inundate YouTube, and then it would get really messy. Secondly, I put up a community post poll asking people whether or not they thought monetization was fair as it is. And to my absolute surprise, most people did. And that kind of ruined that part of the video. And then with the complexities of time zones, when people would watch the video and the relative shelf life of it being a single day or less, I asked myself, was all of this worth it? And the answer was still yes, I love having fun. But then I came across this comment that really struck a chord with me. The road to monetization has been a long and tedious one. I have gone through law school and passed the bar exam to become a lawyer, yet growing on YouTube is harder than anything I have ever done. This is the classic YouTube comment from a creator, slap bang in the middle of their monetization grind. They're almost a year into their journey. They've seen some success on their channel, but generally speaking, most of their videos are getting a couple of hundred views and they are slowly edging towards 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. They are 50 plus videos into their journey and yet they haven't seen a single dime in ad revenue. They are tired. And I know for a fact that many of you are in exactly the same situation on April the 1st, 2023. Now I can't tell you whether or not monetizing your channel is harder than becoming a lawyer because I've never stood in a courtroom and said, objection. But what I do know about becoming a lawyer is that there is a very high barrier to entry. It's going to cost the average person a lot of money and years of study before they're even allowed to practice. Whereas on YouTube, you're practicing for real from day one. And being on YouTube isn't a single job role, it's several bundled into one. You're a researcher, you're on-air talent, you're an editor, you're a thumbnail designer, the list goes on. So yeah, from that perspective, learning everything from scratch and in public is both hard and pretty daunting. So today, I'm not gonna prank you, I'm going to admire you. I'm gonna admire your passion, your bravery, your vulnerabilities, your commitment, and your patience. And maybe you don't realize this yet, but your videos make a difference. Every time you put something out there on YouTube and share your message, you are changing the way people think, changing the way people feel, changing people, I hope, for the better. That, in itself, is an incredibly powerful opportunity and an awesome responsibility. We all know this because we all do it. The Man of Law YouTube channel is well on the way to monetization and they have a clear pathway in front of them. Emily D. Baker has proven there is an insatiable appetite for law drama on YouTube. And I am positive for whatever topic you cover on YouTube, there is a successful role model you can aspire to. The truth is, YouTube have just had a massive shakeup of monetization with the introduction of YouTube Shorts. They had a golden opportunity to change the requirements and they didn't. I don't think they're changing anytime soon. So answer me this. Do you think you can monetize your YouTube channel by April the 1st, 2024? Every single one of you should be saying yes. And if you do need a little bit of guidance towards monetization, then this five minute video may help you out. Although everybody seems to think it's clickbait, so I don't know, maybe this is a true prank. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna unsubscribe or stop watching you.